Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. For our guest of God, we're looking at the topic, the blessings of quality hearing and reception. Topic one more time, the blessings of quality hearing and reception. One of the series of spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers. Post my humble self, look at K text taken from the book of, sorry, Revelation 1, 9 down to 12. But well, let's pray for we Father, Thank you for an opportunity to be alive this morning. We've come to hear from you, Father. We are speak to us and gonna understand it. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 8, you send the word on the jackal and it lighted unto Israel. Lord, send the word into our heart this morning and set us on top of the top in our endeavors. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic for this morning: quality, the blessings of quality hearing and reception. The blessings of quality hearing and reception. Under the series. Spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers. Host, look at key text taken from Revelation 1, 9 to 12. I read from verse 9. I, John, who also I am your brother and a companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isles that is called Patmos for the word of the Lord and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. And in verse 10 said, I was in the spirit of the lost day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet i pray you will hear a voice behind you saying this is the way walking it in the name of jesus verse 11 said saying i am alpha and omega the first and the last and what says that write in the book and send it onto the seven churches which are in asia it ephesus and all that move down to verse 12 said and i turned to see the voice that spoke with me and being torn i saw seven golden sticks i pray God will show you things that your eyes have never seen, the things that your mind has never imagined in the name of Jesus. For that reading, Genesis chapter 13, from verse 14 down to 17 said, And the Lord, and the Lord said unto Abraham, after the Lord was separated from him, said, Lift up none thy eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward. Verse 15 said, For all the land which thou seest. So believe in me. Your exploit in life as a reason of what you can see, said for all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. God will show you things, amazing things, and it's going to bring them to pass in your life in Jesus' name. He said in verse 16, And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, and that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Said in verse 17, Arise, walk, arise, walk through the land, the land of it, and in the breath of it, for I will give it unto thee. God will show you the things he's going to do to you. In Jesus, I remember way back in school, I was praying one early morning, and had the word of the Lord said, if you can keep your certificate uncorrupt, undefiled in the school, you don't need to look for a job when you are out. Believe me, when I came out, jobs was looking for me. And I pray, God will show you amazing things in Jesus' name. Ezekiel, chapter 3, from verse 10 down to 14, said, Verse 10 said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my word that I shall speak unto thee received in thy heart, and hear with thy ears. Wherefore that say, And go. Verse 11 said, And go. Get thee to them of the captivity of the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they will hear or whether they will not, whether they will fear, just go and speak to them. Verse 12 said, Then the Spirit took me up, and I had behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. And verse 13 said, I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touch one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and the noise of a great rushing. And verse 14 said, So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit. But the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. God's hand will come upon you in Jesus. And look at what he said in verse 10. He said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all the word that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart, and hear with their ears. That means see it, see it, hear it, and understand it. That will be a portion in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 30, from verse 18 to 21 said, And therefore will the Lord wait, and therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. He said, Blessed are all that wait for him. Blessed are all that wait for him. As we wait upon the Lord. You will become the blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Verse 19 said, For the people shall dwell in Zion or Jerusalem, thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, 
he will answer thee. God will answer you in Jesus' name. Verse 21 said, And their eyes and their ears shall hear a word behind, saying, This is the way work ye need when ye shall turn to the right and when ye shall turn to the left. God will speak to you and you will perceive it in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 58, 6 down to 14. And because scripture said, You know, this is the fast I've chosen. They were complaining, Lord, we are fasting. Are you not seeing? Won't you bless us? We've been praying. Are you not going to hear? Are you a prayer story? For God said, no. I'm a prayer answering God. And the pastor he said, It's not this the father of children began to tell them. He said, To lose the bounds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burden, to let your praise go free, and that he break every yoke. Verse 7 said, It's not to give their bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that is cast out to your house. And he now said, The pastor said, Then shall the light, then shall the light break forth as a morning, and thy health spring forth speedily, and thy ration shall go before you, Lord, the Lord shall be your reward. Verse 9 said, then shall thou call. That's where I'm going. Then shall thou call. And the Lord shall say, Here am I. Then shall thou cry. And he shall say, Here am I. If thou will take away from the midst of thee the yoke and the putting forth of the finger and speaking by the verse 11 said, And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fire thy bones. And thou shalt be like a water garden and like a spring of water whose water fills up. God will open understanding to these mysteries of this morning in Jesus' name. And the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Topic one more time. The blessings of quality hearing and reception on that series, spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers, host of the key takes a look on Revelation chapter one from verse nineteen. Uh Revelation one from verse nine to twelve, I beg your pardon, but for that reading, Genesis chapter thirteen from verse fourteen to seventeen, Ezekiel chapter three from verse ten to fourteen, Isaiah thirty, eighteen to twenty one, and lastly Isaiah chapter fifty eight from verse six to fourteen. Please don't want to beg you at the ledger to read the scriptures again. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is until you hear from heaven, you can never be heard on the earth. I take that again. Until you hear from heaven, you can never be heard on the earth. Think about this. Today we look at the topic the blessings of quality hearing and reception on the DJ series on spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers. By introduction, let's understand that impact in life and destiny is a function of divine insight, direction, and revelations. A man can never hear from heaven. If he is not correctly positioned and tuned to the heavens channel, just like it takes a prolific antenna to receive some setting codes and signal of communication, say is our ability to hear and perceive from God. God is always speaking while men are busy, busy without perception. And until you perceive from God, men will never perceive your dominion on the earth. But I pray going forward, as you hear from on high, the world will hear you in the name of Jesus. Imagine the light. Imagine the signal, imagine the revelations, imagine the stardom in scriptures, yet someone will swear that God has never spoken to him. That's an example of a poor and a dead antenna and a dead spiritual antenna. But I pray your spiritual antenna will be receptive, it will be active, it will be good, and it will bring results for you in the name of Jesus. And on this note, we shall be studying about the blessings of quality hearing and reception. And I pray God will open your eyes to this mystery. In the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 20, uh, I beg your pardon, Deuteronomy chapter 29, from verse 2 to 9. I'm eager to read this scripture. And Moses called unto all Israel and said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt, and unto Pharaoh, and unto all his sons, and unto the land. It said in verse 3, The great temptation which thy eyes have seen, the signs, said the signs, and those great miracles, said yet, in verse 4, that's where I'm going, yet, the Lord have not given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day. God will open your eyes to see and to perceive what his glorious gospel is teaching and is saying in the name of Jesus. God have done you amazing things all through last year. So why are you downcast? Why don't you feel that God is going to give you that contract? Why are you feeling that God is not going to give you that job? Why are you feeling that you're going to have a baby? Why are you feeling that you're not going to have, you're not going to go to school? Trust God. That it's going to perfect that you're starting in your life. And you bring it to pass in Jesus. And Moses speaking in verse 5, he said, uh, this job 29, verse 5, 9 said, And I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes were not waxing old upon you, and your shoes is not waxing old upon thy food. He said in verse 6, You have not eaten bread, neither you have drunk wine or strong drink, that you might know that I am the Lord your God. He said in verse 7, And when, and when ye came unto the place, Sion, the king of Ishbon, the oak, the king of Bashan, came out against us to battle and we smote them. And yet, he said it was it. And we took their land and all that gave it to the inheritance of the Reubenites 
unto the Gideons, unto the half of the tribe of Manasseh. He said in verse 9, Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them, that ye may prosper in all that ye do. So keep the commandment of the Bible, you will prosper. Believe in me, I have taken some stand in my life. There are some things I can never bow to because the Bible says it. People's opinion, I don't care, and I don't give a damn. I want to do what God says. And I'm seeing the blessing of the Lord. God will change you to an amazement your world in Jesus' name. Job chapter 30, verse 1 says, Look, my eye have seen all this, my ears have heard and understood. You understand in the name of Jesus. As you hear, you understand. And as you walk in the truth, you have testimony to show in Jesus' name. Psalm 62, verse 11 said, God have spoken once, twice have I heard the power belonging to God. God has spoken once, twice have I heard. God will grant you an understanding how to perceive what he say in the name of Jesus. That's that chapter 32, 32. It is said, and the eyes of them that see shall not be dim. He said, the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. He said, the heart also of the right shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. He said, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. So you can hear and understand. You can see and actually see until the Spirit is poured from on high upon you. And I pray God's Spirit will be poured upon you in Jesus. Then complete that scripture down to verse 18. Ezekiel chapter 40 from verse 2 down to 4 said, In the visions of God brought he me into the land of Israel and set me upon a very high mountain by which was as the frame of a city on the south. And he brought me thither, and behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass, with a limb of flax in his hand, and a measuring ring, and he stood in the gate. And a man said unto me, Son of man, behold, with thy eyes and ear, and ear with thy ears, and set thy heart upon all that I shall show thee, for to the intent that I may show them unto the earth thou brought thither, declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel. I see you manifesting practically the technology that heaven is showing you in the name of Jesus. Very quickly, please let's move because of our time. We've been looking at the subtopic. What are the real spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers? And we've seen two points so far. We saw the benefit. We saw the blessings of quality righteousness as our, our foundation. We saw the blessings of what? Quality righteousness. We saw another point yesterday. The blessing of a pure conscience. The blessings of a pure conscience. Please, I want to beg you. A reference to all the teaching series on this platform. You'll be blessed in Jesus. And today, we're looking at one more point. One more time, we're looking at the real spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers. And we're telling you the blessings of quality hearing and reception. Believe me, there are some microphones. When you speak through them, the reception at the other end is clean and pure. And I pray that will be a new level in the name of Jesus. One more time, real blessings of real spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers. We're looking at the blessing of quality hearing and reception. This simply is having a pure and a clean and antinuate access to God's voice and word and interpreting same to the situation at hand. This simply is what having a pure and a clean antinuate access to God's words and voice and interpreting same to the situation at hand. Of course, those that are into programming or use PHP or use Java, C++, whatever to write some code. A man who is not a programmer cannot perceive it. You only see some junks being written, but that is a code that would interpret something. I pray your spiritual antenna will become receptive to God's word in the name of Jesus. One more time, subtopic, a real spiritual blessings of fasting and prayers. We're looking at the blessings of quality here in the reception. Going for that, say this simply is what having a pure and a good and a clean acting with access to God's voice and word and interpreting same to the situation at hand. Exodus chapter 3 from verse 1 down to 11. We see, and now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, and the, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And it was two, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and we hold the bush torn with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burning. And verse 4 said, And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called him out of the burning bush. He said, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here am I. 
as the Lord began to say, Go and deliver my children of Israel. And of course, in Exodus chapter 4, from verse 1 down to 8, we see Moses trying to argue with God, and Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they would say, The Lord have not appeared unto thee. He began to give reasons because his signal was poor. He began to give reasons because his antenna was poor. And the Lord began to tell him, Throw the rod of your hand, and he did that, and the rod turned to serpent, cast it on the ground, and he turned to serpent. He said, Pick it, and he put out his fan, and of course, it became a rod in his hand again. And the Lord began to tell him to go forward. And of course, he went. And we all know the end of the story. He brought out the children of Israel out of captivity. And Pharaoh and his host were drowned in the sea. You can read all of that down to verse 8. Down to verse 8 at your leisure time. Proverbs chapter 20, 11 and 12. Verse 12 said, The hearing here, okay, let me read from verse 11. said, Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure or whether it be right. Second like verse 12. The hearing here and the seeing eye, the Lord have made even both of them. God will make your eyes to be a seen eye. God will make your ears to be a listening and an understanding ear in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 13, uh, from verse 15 down to 16. At a leisure time, can read talking about some hear, they see, they can't perceive. Some hear, I hear they can't perceive. They see, they can't see. But that will not be a portion of Jesus' efficiency. 1, 17, 22 said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may keep on to the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him. He said that the eyes of your understanding, verse 18, being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the inheritance and the same. He said, verse 19 said, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the walking of his mighty power? When Father said, verse 20, he said, which, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heaven, places far above principalities and powers, might and dominion, every name that is named, and not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Verse 22 said, And had put all things under his feet, and gave him to the head over all things to the church. Revelation chapter 1, from verse 9 to 12. Our anchor scripture said, I, John, who also am your brother and a companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom. One in the kingdom, one patient of Jesus Christ was in the island called Patmos for the word of the Lord and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Said, I was in the spirit in verse 10. I was in the spirit on the lost day, and I had behind me a great voice of a trumpet. Said, I'm half an omega, and all that you see, write them down. And I pray, I will show you amazing truth in the name of Jesus. One more time, so topic real spiritual blessings of passing the prayer. We're looking at the blessing of quality, hearing, and reception. Whoever that said this simply is having a pure and a clean heart in it, access to God's words and word, and it's a pretty insane to the situation at the end. At the leisure time, God, Exodus chapter 3, Proverbs 1 to 11, Exodus chapter 4, 1 to 8, Proverbs 20, 11 to 12, Matthew 13, 15 to 16, Ephesians 1, 17 to 22, Revelation chapter 1, from verse 9 down to 12. Please don't break at the leisure time. Read the scriptures again, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, let's recognize that without a quality, attenuated heart, we cannot perceive from God because it is a highly spiritual call. The signals of heaven only flows to good and clean power heart, meaning your heart has to be right with God at all times, and not only in fasting and prayer seasons, so you can hear from God a matter. To your generation remember god's voice can come to you anytime anywhere in rest where you can be in the toilet the world can come you can be on the way the world will come i remember one day i think i was on a bike i had a voice there's an outpost to in you go that's what i heard all my friends said that's this is what god told me he said where is he telling you to go i said i don't know yet but i had there's an apost to in you go that i heard i pray god will speak to you but the grace to remain wise and to remain what active to keep your antenna in good ship shape so that you can perceive the God's speak will be your portion of Jesus and Ivan. You have to accept Jesus first before you can receive a new antenated heart. In Genesis chapter 13 from verse 14 to 17, we see God and Abraham after the Lord was separated, he said, now lift up down the eyes and look. As far as your eyes can see, now will I give it to north, south and order. So walk through the length and the bread. Lord said, All that your eyes can see, I will give you, and I will give to thy seed. And we saw that came to pass. 
that's item 615 said arise shine for the light is coming you can arise because darkness is everywhere so until your antenna is what is clean and full of glory you can receive from on high darkness will cover it i pray darkness will not cover your antenna in jesus name Isaiah 6, 8 to 11 said, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I sent him. And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but understand more, and see ye indeed, but perceive no. I pray you will hear, you will perceive, you will understand in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 21. Because the word of the Lord saying here now that's all oh, foolish people and without understanding which have eyes and see not which have ears and hear not that will not be you in Jesus name Ezekiel 12 2 said son of man thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house which have eyes to see and see not they have ears to hear and hear not for they are rebellious house that will not be your house in Jesus name Mark 8 18 said having eyes see ye not and having ears, hear ye not, and do ye not remember? Romans 11 verse 8, I round up with that, said, according as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they may see not, and ears that they may hear not, or to this day, talking about the sinners, and the people pray to mind. In case you're on the other side, you can't hear from heaven, and of course, you just remain an ordinary person, nothing extraordinary about you. You want your life to be extraordinary, I'm going to pray with you, Praise your hand on your chest. Say, Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner. I know if you appear right now, I'm going to hell. Forgive me my sins, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Write my name in your book of life. Grant me a heart to pass what you're saying part time. Let my spiritual antenna be active and good. For Jesus in my prayer. Amen. We take these two prayers. Father, all through my fasting period, empower me to constantly hear from you and perceive in the same day. In Jesus' name, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 3, he said, And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. That will be you, in Jesus' name. With this understanding, say, Father, all through my fasting and prayer season, empower me to constantly hear from you and perceive in the same way in the name of Jesus. Father, all through my fasting and prayer season, empower me to constantly hear from you and perceive in the same way in the name of Jesus. Last prayer, Father. As many saints in Nigeria and Africa were upon me in this season, caused them to hear great voice, great voice of insight for industrialization and economic growth in the name of Jesus. Let's take that again. Father, as many saints in Nigeria and Africa wait upon you in this season, caused them to hear great voice of insight for industrialization and economic development in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 1, verse 10. I was in the spirit in the last day and I heard a great voice behind me as of a trumpet. Many saints in Africa will begin to hear great voice of technology, great voice of inventions, and I see you being one of us in the name of Jesus. Please join me, let's pray for the same Father. As many saints in Nigeria and Africa were upon this season, cause them to hear great voice of insight for industrialization and economic development in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us, but in Jesus' name we pray. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and the prayers. I pray that this day will be a day of favor for you. It shall be a day of encounter for you. God will visit you. The same God who visited Anna will visit you even today in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you. Thank you. See you tomorrow.